All right. So, here we go, chat. And no, it's not tea time. It's actually cheerleaders time. <laughs> Let's rank all the arena maps and then we'll rate all the battle royale maps. Uh, obviously, this is my my opinion, completely biased. So, let's start off with Encore. Encore is pretty trash. No, I'm kidding. Encore, I like it. It's better than other, you know, arena maps. But I don't feel it's that strong. So, if I have to place Encore, okay, the thing the thing with Encore is it's pretty open. Uh, there's some palm trees, maybe some, you know, staircases, but there's not enough. There's not enough. So, I think Encore it's not F tier. F tier is reserved. You already know. You, already, you, you guys already know. But Encore, I think, will go with either E or D. Depending on where we rank the other arena maps, uh, we'll decide. But for now, I'm going to leave it on E. All right. Party Crasher. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Okay, for me, it's D tier. Okay, let's let's raise it up a bit. Okay. Party right, Crasher for you is A. So Party Crasher, I actually love. But this left side, I don't know if you guys can, can see. Let me see if I can zoom in. This part right here is actually worse than this side. You know, this side has a lot more cover in the upper area. So they the, like the high ground is way better on this side than this side. So for that reason, I'm not giving it an S tier. If it wasn't for this, like high ground difference, like I would definitely give Party Crasher S tier because I love this map. This map is beautiful. I, I would definitely give it an S tier if it wasn't for the difference in high ground. So for that reason, I am going to put Party Crasher in A tier. All right. Phase Runner. Phase Runner, the first arena map. And Phase Runner, I really like. Uh, I'm thinking of cons here because I, I, lo I love a lot of things of uh, like Phase Runner. S tier, in your opinion? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm leaning towards S tier. But I'm, I want to consider the, the pros and cons real quick. So the pros, the portals are super fun. Like the, the right side, depending on where you spawn. But taking portal to that particular area are super fun. And that... The fights there are interesting and i don't know there's enough cover for you know multiple angles and and different plays you could do so that area that that portal area is super good for me super good all right so the other side is also i think it's also pretty balanced uh, i'm thinking of cons but i can't really point one out if you guys have any cons for a face runner let me know but face runner i think it's i think it leans toward s tier I think it's it's worthy of an S tier. There's not that's balanced, you know. And they also patched the sniper glitch <laughs> that people could snipe you from spawn. So I think Face Runner Face Runner deserves the S tier definitely. All right, Kings Canyon, no, not yet, not yet. Our last map, Overflow. No questions asked. F tier, worst map. Hopefully they delete it. If they haven't deleted it by next season, I'm probably uninstalling Apex Games. I am tired of this map. I have always tried to skip it. I hate it with my life. This is the worst map by far. Whoever designed this deserves to be, you know, uh, kicked out of the Apex development team. And probably, I don't know, uh, it's just bad. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding uh, on the on the trash map, but on the, the developer, you know, the, the design team or whatever. But Overflow, I really dislike this map. The, at first, when I first saw the trailer and, you know, Arcane was dying, like, in every trailer, the, the map looked really cool and everything. Molten Lava, you know, running around the map was amazing but it's just so bad so bad like the fights there i do not enjoy most of the time the fights here are so bad the pushes are so quick the cover is horrible so yeah this is my ranking for the arena maps let's move over to the battle royale uh ranking okay okay and we're talking about king's canyon the latest king's canyon not the you know the events one or the original or anything we're talking about the latest king's canyon the the one we had on uh, the previous season on ranked we're talking about that king's canyon okay so king's canyon i'm gonna zoom in let's talk pubs first and then we'll move over to ranked okay so pubs king's canyon for pubs i find it enjoyable it's it's okay i like it you know it has the caustic area which is pretty fun uh like the the caustic building it has the crypto satellite which is also super cool to you know use that use that you know map scan and know everything it has its fun places to go to do you know it has its things the 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 deadly zones were like the middle building i don't even know what it's called but you know the the one where there's like <laughs> a lot of memes were the 20 20 death boxes and a lot of caustic gas like the the original gas traps and and everything like that room that that's like the the highlight for me in, in pubs so in in pubs it's pretty fun 
I wouldn't say the best, but it's fun. It's okay. So I, I think for pubs, for pubs only, I would put it in a B tier. But we need to consider rank. We haven't talked about rank. So for rank, third parties are horrible. No, I, I do not like third parties in King's, at King Canyon. <sighs> How do I say this? I don't know. My experience with King Canyon wasn't as bad as Storm Point, by the way, with solo queue. But they were pretty bad. Closing rings weren't that good. I hate the buildings with like millions of millions of cracks in them where people just land on your roof and can shoot you with like like nothing. I, I do not do not like that for rank and because you, you know in rank are it's lower so they can throw an ace through there and do a lot of stuff. Considering pubs and rank, I would give Kings Canyon. I don't know if I, if I still give it a B or a C. I'm gonna put it at C from Canyon. Uh, I'm not really a Kings Canyon enthusiast. Uh, I didn't really play that much on the the first version of this map, so I don't love it that much. I give it a C. Kings Canyon C sucks. World's Edge. World's Edge definitely an A tier. I mean A tier. Uh, World's Edge is it's super fun for pubs. Not the most fun, but it's okay. I like it. I like playing World's Edge. There's the the streamer building with the zip lines. There's the uh, that's it. But, but it's still fun. <laughs> you know, basically have the lobby dies in the streamer building in that area. And that area also has like a lot of individual fights, like nearby. So you you're everybody's fighting their own thing. Uh, you know, fighting their own third parties. And then after you know those big teams uh, endure all the third parties, they fight each other. And that's probably when the either you have to move because of zone or the game ends because everybody dropped there. So World Edge for pubs for me is super fun. I really enjoy pubs on World Edge. But when it comes to rank, for me, I, I'd rather play World Edge than Kings Canyon. Basically, World Edge is okay. Besides, you know, the the building with the with the beam thing, whatever. Uh, World Edge is pretty fine. I think if I were to do something, maybe with just because of those rotations and those you know weird things, because remember, World Edge also has like the the Bloodhound event, like the Bloodhound uh, trials. So it has a lot of ways to recover if you drop badly or you need to run from somebody. So I think it deserves the A spot. Maybe maybe B, but I think I'm going to give it A. So World Edge A, A tier. Let's go to Olympus. By far the best map. Don't add me. Uh, this is the best, best map in all aspects. Rank, uh, pubs, everything. If you're, if, you're, if you're getting third party, like if you call Olympus a third party map, you're just bad and you should uninstall. I'm kidding. But yeah, Olympus is really good. I really love super fun pubs. Bro, pubs, S tier. S tier, bro. Just because you can fly around and, and, and everything. The, the, the spots are super fun. The colors are so beautiful. Everything is beautiful about this map. The tridents are super fun to use here. Everything, bro. This, this map, I just hope it comes back. I can't wait to play Olympus again. For real. The hot drops were super cool too. Uh, like the streamer building of this map was cool. The buildings next to the rift are also super fun. Like the, that hot drop right there. There's an arena map for that. And I miss it, by the way. I don't know why. Oh, I guess I guess they removed the whole BR map and arenas is based on the BR map. So if they remove the BR map, then the arena map remo is removed. Uh, the rotating buildings are super cool too. Olympus come back with crypto heirloom, best thing that could happen, bro. If that happens, I'm not gonna stop playing. I'm I'm definitely gonna put a lot of hours into those streams, and probably even off stream, you know, because crypto heirloom plus Olympus that would be the best outcome we could have. Olympus for Pups is the best, best map in my opinion. Like super fun. I miss it so much. I want to try. So for rank, rank, I get, I get there's a lot of third partying in Olympus because of, uh, you know, small question mark. Like you could rotate pretty easily to another team and third party, but if you're not playing at the center part, like the, the, the deadly zone to rotate for, to, then you're pretty much safe. I think Olympus, Olympus for rank wasn't that bad in my opinion. You know, solo queue experience in Olympus was one of my best. I think I'm biased because of pubs, but still Olympus for me wasn't that bad. So Olympus definitely, even with rank, deserves the S tier. Such a beautiful map, man. If you don't like Olympus, I don't know why. Uh, I, I really need people telling me why they don't like Olympus. I need to know. I, I really need to know. I need to get into their minds to I, I need their whole story to understand how can you dislike Olympus so much. For real. I don't get it. I really, Olympus is really a beautiful map. Bro. The last map, the, the newest map, Storm Point. So Storm Point for pubs is definitely a different story. And keep in mind, Storm Point introduces Prowlers, Spiders, and Spiders with loot better than the Lifelines Ultimate itself. Also, the Jump Cannons, which I don't love. I wish they still had some, you know, balloons around. Because Jump Towers are, you know, Jump Cannons are basically just 
places for people to camp and rank or in, in this in pub sometimes they even camp them so what happens in storm point is i think it's too big where you have you know either all the teams on drop or no teams at all like you spend too much time you know looking for teams and if you're playing pubs or for fun or sometimes rank but with a team uh, it's okay if you play with like spiders and prowlers where you're farming you know looting and everything like if you don't find a squad then you just farm spider nest and you're probably better than uh if you had fought a squad for me that's how i feel i enjoy killing those spiders and the prowlers if there's no third parties coming so you know i like farming them so for pubs I, I i find it okay but if i'm playing with teams i find it great t tier just because they did crypto dirty Oh, the lack of banners. Yes, of course. Oh my god, I forgot about that. The lack of banners is crazy. This map sucks for banners. So that's, I think that's it for pubs. No, the, oh, the map is beautiful. The map is beautiful. The trailer was beautiful. The character Ash introduced with it was beautiful. Everything about Stormprint was meant to be great. But the way people play it, it's just ugh, nasty. So, okay, rank. This is by far the worst solo queuing map experience I have had. Okay, that same reasoning where you either find a lot of squads or no squads at all applies for rank two turn point for rank really sucks if if it was only pubs if it was only pubs i would probably rate it high maybe maybe at, at lowest would be b tier but since rank it's so bad for me for my health you know i'm thinking i'm thinking if i'm gonna put it c it's definitely for me it's better than king's canyon you know the the rank experience is worse but the pubs experience is better for me. I, I really like the map. I don't know. I really like the map. I know in this, you guys may defer because I know you guys like Kings Canyon, uh, you know, pubs. But for me, Storm Point is better looking. Uh, the mobility, the, I don't know. I, I like it as pubs. But rank is, ugh. if we're going by rank, I'm going in F tier. But okay, that was my tier list for arena maps and battle rear maps this season uh again there there's some maps that are missing for arenas because since olympus was removed well we don't have some of them and and stuff like that but still this is for this season this is my ranking if you defer let me know you know write a comment let me know if why you defer